Hey y'all, I wanted to hop on here really quickly and talk to you about something that's been kind of a recent change for me. Um, and I just, I don't know, it, it it's kind of like on my heart to share it with you and so I wanted to do that. Clearly this is a very informal and casual video because I did not even make my bed. I have not even made my bed yet today. I, I look like a hot mess, but you know what? It is what it is. I had to go to the store and pick up some things and <laughs> you guys, I'm just like, I'm blown away by the sheer magnitude at which we are freaking out. We as in society is freaking out about the coronavirus. Now, I am in no way trying to seem like the coronavirus is not a big deal for people who actually have it. It's it's definitely, it's, it's a serious illness that you need to take seriously, but oh my gosh, I'm not even gonna go into anything more than that because that's not the topic of this video, but I am blown away at how much this is just people are losing their minds over this so um just out of curiosity if you guys would like to hear my thoughts on that let me know i'm happy to share i could probably talk about it for a straight eight to ten minutes so let me know but the topic of this video is actually something a little bit different and here's the thing i need to be kind of careful because i don't want to come across the wrong way whenever i talk about this but i do want to share my heart with you so i have found lately over the past probably two or three months that I have really been changing the way that I watch YouTube. And what I mean specifically is that I have stopped watching a lot of channels that I used to watch um, because they just don't fit me in the season of life that I'm in right now. Now, I haven't unsubscribed from these channels. I just don't really watch them regularly. And I that may not really seem like a big deal, but I wanted to share with you why, because the reason why is what's been on my heart to kind of like, it took some really deep looking into myself to like make this decision. And that's what I wanted to share with you because I wanna make sure that my channel is a place where um, if I don't, if my content doesn't fit you in the season that you're in right now, I don't want you to feel I don't want you to watch my videos, which is kind of crazy for a YouTuber to say, but I'm being honest. So as an example, there is a channel that I subscribed to probably almost a, it was probably in the summer of last year and I watched her videos all the time and I'm obviously not going to tell you the, the name of the channel. Um, she is an absolutely lovely person. Like she is just beautiful, beautiful hearts, like I, I'm not saying anything negative about her as a person um, or her channel. Her channel is wonderful. It's a very popular channel. But what I noticed was when I would watch her videos, I was really feeling, number one, very um, discontent with my own life and my own home. And um, number two, I found myself feeling the need to spend a lot of money. Um, because on her channel, she talks about, I went and picked up this in order to decorate my home. And she, her home is beautiful and she has an eye for, for decorating and design that I do not naturally have. And so like she does all these, all these decorating things and they're just absolutely beautiful they're beautiful like they're I want them in my home and so I would catch myself going to Hobby Lobby and Michaels and Target and all these places and buying all of these things and I was spending more money than I needed to be spending in the season of life that I'm in because I was trying to duplicate what I saw her doing in her home um, and that's just one example of kind of what made me take a step back and become a little bit more reflective about okay why am I watching this if it's causing me to act in ways that aren't good for me in this season I have not unsubscribed from her channel I just am currently not watching her videos because I I hope that at some point down the road I will come back and be able to watch her videos and gain some inspiration when I'm ready to decorate something or um, you know something of that nature another example is in the past I was subscribed to channels that are specifically like um, beauty channels and makeup guru type of things. And I was noticing that 
I was going out and purchasing a bunch of really expensive makeup. And can I be honest with you guys? This is what I look like most days. I don't wear makeup every single day. I definitely do not like wear makeup enough that I need to be purchasing high end makeup kits. Like that doesn't need to happen. But that's what was, you know, happening as a result of me watching these videos and thinking, oh my gosh, she is stunning. She has such good makeup application technique. I want to try that. I want to look like that. And so I would purchase these things and it just wasn't, it wasn't like, it didn't make sense for me and my life. Um, another example is, you know, I'll watch a channel where they do a lot of haul videos and okay, first of all, let me just say right now, there's a reason that social media and especially YouTube creators are not called entertainers. We are called influencers. And I don't know if you've ever really taken the time to kind of think about that, but on social media, we are influencing people to think a certain way or to buy a certain thing. And it's not even intentional. Like, okay, if you are watching a, a channel that is about homeschooling, that homeschooling channel, that mom is not specifically targeting you and trying to get you to homeschool your kids. Um, but if she is providing information about homeschooling in general and curriculum and routines and just things like that, you, if you watch her videos for a long time and you don't already homeschool your kids, you will probably find yourself starting to think, maybe I should homeschool my kids, you know, because you like what you see this other person doing and you kind of want to replicate it. Um, if you watch makeup, you know, tutorials. I, whenever I start to watch more makeup tutorials, I start doing my makeup more often and more bold and using more colors and just trying to replicate what I've seen someone else do. Um, if I watch a channel where the person is, we only eat organic food and we don't eat any junk food and we make everything from scratch and we, and we do all this and I watch those videos a lot, I find myself, my mindset starting to shift a little bit into we can only eat organic foods and we can only eat um you know pasture raised meat and we can only eat this and we can only eat this and i start trying to almost like mimic what that person is doing and can i just be honest with you guys we are a single income family right now and um there are seven of us who live in this house me my husband we have four children and my father-in-law we cannot afford to do organic everything and pasture raised everything and, and as much as I wish we could, like if we had the money, absolutely it would be because I, I do believe that the foods that we put in our bodies are, are important, but I also believe I can only do what I can do. So the point I'm trying to make is that I took a step back a couple of months ago and I started asking myself, well, first of all, it came, um, I needed to make a change because I was spending way too much money on things. I was overspending at the grocery stores. Every time I would see a Costco haul, I'm like, oh, well, I have to go to Costco right now because I didn't see that and I need it. And you guys know when you go in Costco, you don't just go in for one thing. I was spending way too much money at the grocery stores, at Costco, at Hobby Lobby, all the places. And it was just ridiculous. It was getting out of hand. I was being influenced by the people that I was watching on YouTube. I wanted to also point out that around about this same time that I started making some changes, I started watching a couple of different channels that kind of shifted the way that I was looking at things. One of which is, um, I will go ahead and tell you the name of this channel. Um, I watched The Budget Mom and I have started doing my budget according to like the budget mom method, like her paycheck her budget by paycheck method is what it's called. Um, it just, when I started watching her videos, it lit a fire underneath me and to get my budget in order and to start saving money and to be intentional with our finances. And that was a good thing. That was something I really needed to watch. Um, I also watch channels here that specifically talk about ways to save money and how to organize your time and things like that. I love watching things like that because it's influencing me, but in a positive way. It's not encouraging me to behave in ways that are gonna be detrimental to my finances, quite honestly. Um, and I just want you guys to know, 
I am going to be sharing here on my channel, you know, my life, my life. This is what, but at no time during any of my videos, do I ever want to like feel like anyone, like, oh, I don't even know how to put it. I just, I want you guys to know that if at any time you start to feel influenced by my content here to buy something or do something different or change the way you are or do something that doesn't fit for your life and your family, I would absolutely encourage you to not watch my videos at all. Um, even if it's just for a season, because I know that the season I'm in right now, I can't watch a lot of hauls on YouTube because I am influenced by those things when I see them. And so a few months ago, I just kind of changed what, I, what I've been watching on YouTube. And so I've gone back to watching some of the channels, first of all, that kind of um, encouraged me to start my own channel, which is why I'm finally starting to put content back out for you guys because I just, I, I kind of got back to my roots, so to speak. And so I just want to share. And I've been watching the channels that I used to watch a really long time ago. I'm watching channels that I feel like help me to make good decisions. And I've kind of taken a step back from watching videos that um, aren't really just, they're not right for me in the season that I'm in. So I just wanted to share that with you guys. I don't know if you've ever really taken the time to stop and think about exactly what you're watching and how it influences you, how it may influence the decisions that you're making, but I would encourage you to do that. I have a very limited amount of time, um, not even every day, that I can watch YouTube. Like I have this much time to watch YouTube in the grand scheme of an entire day, so I need to be selective about what I'm watching, and I would encourage you to do the same thing. You know, watch things that are going to help you become a better person and to become the person that you want to be. Watch creators that are that are encouraging you to pursue your dreams and to go for your goals and if you find that a certain creator is just not really fitting into that in a certain season of your life it's okay to not watch their videos for a little while so and that includes me you guys like I said if you need to not watch my videos because it doesn't fit in your season right now absolutely no hard feelings I love you just the same so that's gonna be it I'm going to go ahead and put this video together for you and hopefully get it up um, today or tomorrow and that's it hope you guys have enjoyed watching and I will talk to you in the next one bye bye